The gods of the ocean know the waves that will direct you on your way home. Where every feeling is valid, every encounter important. They won't tell you directly how, but are constantly guiding you through instinct and will continue to do so until you listen. The real flow is in not seeing the flow. People will tell you to stop fighting, to stop resisting and to accept what is. But the truth, my dear, is that everything is. And even the fighting is part of that flow. There are no rules. You create the rules. But it will ask a lot from you to listen to the whispers of the waves that wash ever so silently following their direction through your days. Through everything that you go through in life, they just want you to experience your expansiveness. When you follow the whispers of the gods all the way through via the people that you meet and the events that occur in your life, there is no need for protection from the hurt for you already are protected. Sometimes you think that you need to protect yourself, but that protection is just for your ego and your small self. And when you travel through the hurt, when you realize that it's not painful to you, but only to your ego, that's when you find your way home. And it's a much more powerful feeling than setting your standards, not accepting less than you deserve, judging someone else's actions or your own, feeling disrespected or hard done by, because when there is no hurt, there's only experience. It is truth and it overrides all else. More than you can ever know the God's wish to delight in your embodiment of their kind of protection. And that protection is called unconditional love. The ocean wishes to embrace you in it if you can seek below your limits, deeper, and trust. So good. <laughs> And you know I'm not looking for attention Don't ask me for exclusivity One thing I cannot promise be No limits, no labels, just you and I No boundaries in space and time just a potential space for pure love to shine. I never want to hold on to your love. As I want to feel it last forevermore. And only once you can just let go of my heart. I With a little bit of Shiva energy, yeah, yeah. No more ego in the space. It take time, but I'm ready for real love. I never want to hold on to your love, and I wanna feel it last forever more. Hi, I am Jay Muller, and I live in London. 
I feel like I can't say I'm from London because I'm not really from London. <laughs> but I've been here a very long time. And um, I am a singer, DJ, poet, producer. And I'm originally from South Africa. Moved to England when I was 10. And uh, I love music. <laughs> the music that I'm going to be performing today is R&B. But I'm kind of switching up my sound a bit, you know. The artist's journey. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Influences in general. You know what? This, this is so random. I don't know why this is coming to my head, but Steve Jobs. <laughs> it's so random. But his biography is really good. Yeah, he's, it's quite inspiring. And musical influences, Pharrell is just my number one. Like, I've, lo I've always loved him. And also just him as a person, because he's also a very inspiring person and he has a lot of wisdom. Um, when I was younger, I listened to a lot of Alicia Keys, like vocal-wise, and Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my journey of the quarantine, um, I've really enjoyed it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Like, uh, obviously I haven't been able to DJ and I love DJing, so um, that's one thing. But I did do lots of online streams. Um, and also, it's just given me the space, like so much space to just create. And I really just fell into a whole, a whole pit of writing music, which has been really, really nice. And I turned my phone off for like, I think, 17 days overall throughout the whole quarantine. And it was so helpful because it's noisy out there in there wherever it is online <laughs> it's noisy it's so noisy so yeah the first time I turned my phone off was for seven days and it just reset me immediately just like boom it was really really helpful and now it's I don't know it's weird because it's kind of like in between because people are going out but not really uh, and I'm just kind of doing the same thing my favorite meme from the whole of the quarantine was um Oh yeah, when you realise that your daily routine is called quarantine. <laughs> I was like, that's me. <laughs> Have I learned anything? I feel like I've learned a lot. I'm always learning though. Like this life is a whole journey of just, you know, complete expansion. Um, but I definitely went through a very big healing purge. And actually... It was also related to the Black Lives Matter thing. Like I had this massive, just, you know, realization of what, why I was the way that I was. And um, yeah, the Black Lives Matter thing, it definitely affected me quite a lot. Like re going through into my own ancestry and just exploring that and then realizing how that fit into who I am as a person. And then it was just like completely being able to step away from it and just be like, actually, no, that's not mine. <laughs> Someone said something to me. I loved it. The struggle, honey, the struggle is real, but it ain't mine. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the next song that I'm going to perform is called Born. And that stands for Bad Ass Woman Now. <laughs> um, so that... I think by the time this plays, it's going to have already been released, hopefully. Um, but I wrote this song maybe two years ago when I was in Kerala in India. And I remember I had a Reiki session and the healer gave me loads of healing in my stomach because I've been having trouble. And then I didn't really feel a lot, but then I went to the beach and I just remember crying for like one hour, just like, whoa. And then I went back to the airbnb and i just wrote the song just like completely out and it's just basically about being in a relationship that's just unhealthy like proper unhealthy uh, but then also just in the end being really really grateful grateful for it because it really just empowered you and made you into a badass woman yeah yeah <laughs> Believe in forever, you and I. Do. 